Hello everybody, welcome back to the Blind Press YouTube and Twitch channels and it is time for the Monday version of the coffee stream and uh, please bear with me today because I do have my boys home with me because the schools are closed because it is eclipse day. So <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do like a shorter a shorter stream just because it's supposed to happen in the afternoon today. And uh, the library actually came around and, and hand delivered solar glasses, solar eclipse glasses to everybody today. So that should be fun. So yeah. Hey, it's Bishop. Oh shit, you've been You Max Angor my first love has that fourth end. One main cheese bundled up. But add reaction. You have low grade hypoxia in your holy shit, dude. That's crazy. Chat message. That's amazing. Like the good thing you guys caught that. That's awesome. Good good thing you like that that's great, dude. I'm glad that you guys caught that. Hopefully it didn't do any lasting damage, though. But yeah, today um, we're gonna we're gonna go through some videos and we're gonna we're gonna laugh and have some fun. 
and we're gonna look at some more stellar blade stuff and yeah it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time but yes i do want to keep it uh, as short as i can just so that i can supervise my kids using these glasses um so yeah that's 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 the plan that is the plan for today so and i'm sorry if i'm blinking a lot my left eye is really bothering me this this morning i don't know why i think i may have another eye infection so i'll have to get my eye drops out which sucks Yeah, completely by accident explains the fog. Explains the fog. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid of lasting damage, but I think it explains my mom's final years. He went six. I'm just glad I'm not slowly declining. Fish. Oh, mescaline cures your symptoms. But Mac Ab's reaction. But chat message, chat message, Ab, Max Agor. Yeah, completely by accident. Completely by accident. That's crazy, though. Like, I'm I'm glad you guys found it. Good, 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 good. I'm very happy for you. That's. <clears throat> that is some scary shit, though. Low-grade hypoxia for five years. That's... That is some very scary stuff. So, um... Oh, my goodness. Holy shit. So, we're gonna first... We're gonna we're gonna take a look at some some interesting stuff here. We're going to <clears throat> Oh my goodness, sorry about that. Yeah, like I said, my left eye is really bothering me. I don't know what it is. It, that's and that's the eye that has the half shell prosthetic on it. It feels almost like my left eye is shrinking away. Like it it feels like my left eye is losing mass which is kind of scary but I'll uh yeah I don't know it my left eye feels very strange today I don't get it so we're gonna take a look at a, a short video to start our things off with today we're going to learn about whether decaf coffee is actually good for you. Now, I drank a good amount of decaf when I was pregnant with my oldest um, because I cut back, like I was drinking regular coffee in the morning, but then I would switch to decaf in the afternoon. Not so much with my second born, I just, didn't drink as much coffee. Like, I still drank coffee. I just didn't drink as much Jeff coffee. Jeff and Jeff and My body and which was com which was hard. Because I had a toddler. But. Let's see. So, yeah. Now let's discover whether decaf is good for you. Is raising red f New research is raising red flags about decaf coffee. Some health advocacy groups are even arguing decaffeinated coffee isn't safe for human consumption. The groups Interesting. I wonder if this is going to be like the Diet Coke shit with the aspartame. Petitioning the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to ban a key chemical used to remove caffeine. It's the same chemical used for paint stripping. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was drinking that shit while I was pregnant with my first kid? Holy shit. Metal cleaning and other industrialization to ban a key chemical used to remove caffeine. It's the same chemical used for paint stripping, metal cleaning, and other industrial processes. That is terrifying. I was drinking that shit while I was carrying my kid? Holy fuck. No, Jesus Christ. Joining me now is Dr. Christopher Lavos, epidemiologist and cardiologist, also, also author of Does Coffee Cause Cancer? And eight more myths about the food we meet. We eat, not eat meat. Well, we meet it too, then we eat it. Dr. Lavos, thank you very much for joining us on this Saturday morning. 
Oh, thank you for having me. Okay, serious question. Does coffee cause cancer? Ah, you have to read the book to find out, but... Oh, come on! Come on, Doc! Really? You have to read the book to find out? Really, Doc? What? Wow, you can't, you can't even say yes or no? You... Oh, come on. No, I mean, obviously not. No, and, and that's, I think, why the title of the book works and why it's a little bit funny. Because we have a wealth of research proving that coffee does not cause cancer. There is actually even some association that maybe coffee can be a little bit protective, although that's a little bit more wishy-washy. But I think we can say fairly definitively, you know, in, in the grand scheme of science where we're often coffee uncertain is about not a lot, a cancer and there's often a lot of equivocation about the relative dangers of this or that, I think we can say pretty definitively that there is no link between coffee and cancer, even when you start talking about some of these chemicals, whether it be acrylamide, like we were talking about back in 2018, or whether it's methylene chloride, like we're talking about now. Oh, oh, methylene chloride. That's, that's lovely. This is why I've never trusted no sugar slash decaf slash etc altered bullshit yep that's true like the diet coke with the aspartame yeah, that's the big question uh how does the process work for decaffeination and what does uh, methylene chloride do so here's the thing whenever people hear about this they often hear oh methylene chloride it's used in pain strippers you can't have that in your coffee right it is a very scary thing to hear but we often forget that different products can be used in different ways at very different doses so methylene chloride which is used in industrial processes pain strippers or what have you yes it it is a toxic chemical if you are exposed to it in an occupational work setting so people who inhale the fumes of this when it's being used in industrial processes or who accidentally ingest it in large doses yes it is going to be dangerous. It can cause damage to the liver. It can cause damage to the lungs if you're inhaling the vapors. That is absolutely true. And that's why there are work and safety guidelines about its use and why it's actually not used as much anymore. But when you're talking about the microscopic amounts that are used in coffee, it's really unclear that this is really going to do anything. And a, a but... lot of this is being... The, the, the argument that's being made is that, oh, if there's tiny amounts of this, maybe it's dangerous. Well, we don't have to say maybe. We have wealth. We have a wealth of data mm -hmm. of scientific research that has been done on coffee consumption, showing that there is no risk even with decaf coffee. So, you can theorize that maybe a small amount of this particular chemical, because it's used in the decaffeinated pro decaffeination process, could potentially be dangerous. But we know that it's not because this sort of thing has been evalu evaluated for decades. Okay, so the right, so like when I, cause he's right, because when I first heard like paint stripper and whatever, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, I drank so much of this decaf, right? Um, I was like, oh my god, I drank so much decaf coffee, but you know it. That's true. If you use different things, like, but I still don't like. To me, that just sounds like. Uh, to me, honestly, this sounds like a guy that kind of like yeah he's he's not, he's a doctor but like we find like aspartame does horrible things to you and that's in a in the, that's in most diet soda. Um, we find like how how can he say that acrylamide and like methyl uh, uh, methyl chloride is not dangerous even in small doses i don't it, like it if aspartame is so bad for you or anything like that it gets processed out of your body hello well, most chemicals do right again whenever we talk about occupational exposure and we had this very similar argument in 2018 if you remember in in, in, in there was a california court case where they said that um, coffee needed to have warning labels and declaring it a carcinogen and there were lawsuits and the what? Starbucks and the other large chains went to court over this. It was all based on the assumption or it was all based on the argument that there was acrylamide, a chemical that was part of the roasting process of coffee. And what's fascinating about this current story, it's the same sort of cycle. It's the same sort of argument. We have, you know, tiny microscopic amounts of the same chemical 
And when it goes through the scientific evaluation process, it turns out, no, there's no real danger because it, it doesn't seem to accumulate. The danger really isn't getting a large dose at once. So it's the to me. OK, the way that this he's he's not really very explaining it very well. But the, to me, this similar process, the, the way this is going is it's like cooking with alcohol, right? When you cook with alcohol, you don't get drunk because the fumes or not the fumes the the alcohol cooks off it, it evaporates off and it leaves like a flavor behind i think this might be kind of a similar thing where the amount used to decaffeinate the coffee is probably the bulk of the amount put in boils off or evaporates off in the process and what's left behind is so minuscule that it won't hurt i think that's what's going on here this doctor is very long-winded and very much in love with the sound of his own voice and is making it very difficult to glean that very very simple point but i think that's what he's trying to say is that it's kind of like a similar process to cooking with alcohol it seems as if every few years you have this same sort of cycle where somebody worries about one particular mm -hmm. ingredient in coffee and forgets that we can look at you know thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of patient data showing no increase at all cancer risk whatsoever. all right i'm gonna go and enjoy my coffee i'll let you do that as well doctor thank you as always my pleasure take care Dr. Christopher Labos is an epidemiologist and cardiologist and author of Does Coffee Cause Cancer? And Eight More Myths About the Food We Eat. So yeah, that's that was just something I thought we could open with. And I fell for the I fell for the, the whole chemical thing. I freaked out, so I'll I'll even say it. I'll even say it. I fell for it. I fell for that paint strip thing paint stripper thing i was like oh my god that's crazy so we're gonna now jump into our stellar blade we're now gonna jump into our stellar blade um video from rev because i really want to hear about this this is i i really really want to hear this insanity about uh about stellar blade killing women i i this the the amount of ridiculous bullshit that's been coming out about this game it leads me to think that all of these uh we must have diverse games or like inclusive games people i'm every video i hear and every argument i hear from these people leads me to believe that these people have never played a video game in their lives and that they're the reason that they are trying to change the video game industry is because they actually just hate gamers and they just don't want gaming around anymore so they have infiltrated the gaming industry and have decided that they're going to change games so much that nobody wants to play them anymore and then video games just die like that's that is how how I feel about this. I I feel that this is their their end game. So let's take a listen. Hey, what's up, guys? Right here. So it's a bright sunny day. I got a fresh cup of coffee next to me and another round of game journalists to laugh at. How could things get any better? Now, of course, you guys know the hysteria surrounding Stellar Blade, in particular, the design of its main protagonist, Eve. Oh, and despite yes. the fact that this character is based on a 3D scan of a real-life Korean model, a bunch of weirdos on Twitter have openly admitted that they can't stop thinking of children whenever they look at this video game character, which is... That's just disturbing. ...very odd, but it's not been just Twitter users. We've seen a lot of game journalists go after this game and its character designs, including IGN France. We talked about this the other day. Oh, God. Where this author called Eve a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. 
Oh. So they're projecting. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. These people are accusing... Um, people... They're, they're accusing game developers and gamers of never having seen a real woman. Meanwhile, they're basically saying that all women should look like stick androgynous stick figures because it's uncomfy for them to see a curvy woman with nice boobs and a nice butt kicking ass as a main character in a game. It's it's very disturbing for them. It's similar for the for movies as well. You can't have an actual sexy intelligent female protagonist in a movie. She has to be a caricature of a woman with over-the-top sarcasm, completely cunty comebacks, no no depth to her at all. Just just this shallow one-dimensional cunt that doesn't need any friends or any man. Oh, and the only friends she does need are other girl boss cunts. She that's it. That's all she needs. And that's why these people are, are are ruining entertainment. Which, of course, this statement would age very poorly when it was discovered that the director of Stellar Blade is not only married, but his wife is on the art team. And when this was pointed <laughs> out to IGN France, they would edit their original article with this snarky reply, adding this bit here, talking about the English-speaking mob. Well, Oh! Oh, the English-speaking mob. Hey, Frenchies, how about you? How about you go ahead and show us how you feel about English people? As huh? it turns out, that was not the only journalist from IGN France having a meltdown over Stellar Blade, as pointed out by this user Topic, who also uh, provides some translations for this. They will show that another writer for IGN France was melting down over this character design. You can see their translated comments right here. So, yes, no problem. Go tell that to the women who are hit, killed, denigrated, or commit gay men because they cannot live up to the fictional standards expected by men. Wait, women are hit, killed, have violence committed against them, and self-delete because of stellar blade really holy shit this game is this game has some kind of magical power over people if it can make people do all of these things like holy moly this this game must must have some super duper mind control powers. I don't know, man. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Stellar Blade is literally killing women, according to this journalist. Absolutely insane, okay? And also this idea that it's all men creating these things. I mean, does, does it change your opinion if you discovered that some of the people on the art team for Stellar Blade are in fact women? Are you going to blame them too? But let's no, that's internalized misogyny, Rev. That's... They're they're just doing what their male masters have told them to because they don't know any better because they're poor, poor, uh, internalized misogyny women. They they don't actually think for themselves. They they um, they hate themselves too much. Well, let's keep reading through this. The problem is not the sexy design itself, except that it sucks compared to others. How? Hey, that doesn't matter. Well, it mattered enough for you to mention it. Also, uh, insane cope, by the way. But they go on to say, But the percentage of males who will only want this type of fictional body in reality, obviously we understand that this does not shock people who think that women are objects who must obey and be beaten. This, Dude, how many gamers do you know that think like that? Are you kidding me? Like historically gamers were the ones that couldn't get women it's only been in the last like decade that gaming has become main like actually mainstream because of the big bang theory 
I blame the Big Bang Theory for making being a nerd as popular as it has been. And now, now being a true nerd is, is fucking as rare as it comes. But like, being, like, being this like, like, chauvinist, whatever, like, I... I think I've only met, like, online, like, one or two gamers that felt like that and, like, treated their women like that. And the people that, like, me and the other people that we gamed with at the time didn't really like that person. Like, he was, like, we had a, I think we had, like, one person in our Eve days that was like that in, in and, and we heard him, like, yelling at his wife or whatever over comms during a po like a pause battle and we were all like dude what the fuck right like nobody thought it was cool right like there was no other gamer in comms that was like ah yeah give it to her dude it was like what the fuck are you talking to your woman like that for you know what i mean like he, he your woman puts up with you playing eve all day why are you shitting all over her what, you know what I mean? Like, what, 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 the, fu what the fuck? Right? Like, you, there was no there was no camaraderie between us when we heard him shitting on his wife like that. It was not cool. This design makes us sigh and roll our eyes. And we laugh at anyone who needs it, man or woman. But oh, that's yeah. it. The certainly clashing remark in the text which target uh, targets the entire creative process not necessarily a specific designer or the game director. This is obvious to anyone who knows a little French. Only has this impact because a good portion of gamers have become too fragile yep. due to being fed the patriarchy. Ah, yes. Oh, the patriarchy fuck off with the patriarchy. Again, and... The fucking patriarchy. It's a game with a female protagonist and you're bitching about the patriarchy. Holy shit. Holy shit. You can't even dude. If 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 it's a game with females working on it and the game has a female protagonist that is a strong woman, I don't know if you get to throw the word patriarchy around. That that doesn't seem to work. Ladies and gentlemen, you know the first thing I want to ask this author, it's a very simple question. Are you okay? Like, like, right? Are you okay? These are not the words of someone who is doing too well at the moment, okay? Did you did you forget your medication for the last year and have you escaped some sort of facility? Hey, and I would ask who hurt you, but I think the answer would be the patriarchy, of course. But there's a lot of uh, a lot yeah. of complaining and who hurt you? The patriarchy. No, really. Basically saying that the the designs of characters like Eve from Stellar Blade are literally getting women abused is absolutely Outrageous. Asinine, it, asinine, outrageous, uh, insane, unhinged. Um, there's a lot of a lot of adjectives to describe this. But also, let's acknowledge something else here. It's not just women, I and mean, men have these kind of standards placed in media as well. I mean, look at video game character designs of male characters. What do they typically look like? They're super tall, masculine, with huge muscles, and people are unable to understand that this is not supposed to be a reflection of what you should look like. It's just this idealistic design. Yeah, nobody thinks they need to look like a, a male video game character, right? Nobody thinks, nobody, no guy that is playing Street Fighter VI looks at Ken and goes, oh my god, I need to look like that. I have to look like that. Right? Nobody, nobody, <laughs> like, unless they're absolutely deranged, right? Nobody's like, oh my god, I have to look like Ken. <laughs> you know, I have to. It's, it's, <laughs> I, nobody, nobody was like, I must look like Mitsurugi. <laughs> like, I, I've never heard that. I've never heard anybody say that in my entire life. It's just not. That's a included thing. in these games because 
It's fictional. You can make yeah. them in these idealized versions because it's not possible in real life or easy to do in real life. But this whole thing is just very, very angry at Stellar Blade and making a very large deal out of this character design to a ridiculous point. However, IGN would do something unexpected. Okay. They would apologize for the situation. Now, of course, they wouldn't apologize for that previous set of statements from the other author, but they would apologize for the initial document that was uploaded to their site on IGN France. Oh, they're not going to apologize for one of the authors tweeting that Stellar Blade has caused women to be killed? Really? They're not going to apologize? Okay. So here's what they said. Recently, IGN France produced and published a preview of Stellar Blade containing an offensive passage that should have never been included. The text has now been modified, and here's our official apology to the staff at Shift Up Corporation. And they would continue. The original text of the Stellar Blade preview contained statements that were out of place, they added. While it was <laughs> never our intention to out of disrespect place. either Shift Up or any of its employees or their work, we recognize that the sentence taken in its literal sense was out of place and we regret it. Ult oh, out of place and we regret it. What kind of weak ass apology is that? It was out of place. We're sorry. Dude, you're, you're, no, that's not okay. You, you got to take full responsibility for what you said. You... These journalists are doing anything and everything they can to make sure people think that the creators of Stellar Blade are like psychotic, I think. It's that's what they're that's what they're doing. They're they're trying to say that the the creators of Stellar Blade are like just horrible evil psychotic people with this game designed to indoctrinate men into all the wholesale c killing of women it's it's just weird ultimately ign concluded for anyone at shift up corporation who felt personally targeted and insulted by this passage you mean like anybody who had anything to do with the creation of eve we are truly sorry and apologize profu profusely we're sorry sorry Fuck you, British Petroleum Oil from South Park. So, here's the thing. Uh, I, I know for a fact that they would likely have never apologized or modified this passage if it wasn't for people on Twitter and YouTubers calling out this section. Facts! But you know what? It's something. Give credit where credit is due. IGN did apologize and modify that section, so at least there's something there. Now, here's some other <clears throat> news coming out about Stellar Blade. Some good news. So, as Niche Gamer here reports... Stellar Blade won't have microtransactions or hidden fees according to its developer. Awesome. I wonder if Stellar Blade's going to have accessibility to it. I I looked up um, As Dusk Falls and it's I have a $50 PlayStation card and it's only 40 bucks. So I'm wondering if I shouldn't if I shouldn't grab it just to get some some different games to play, but I should finish The Last of Us before I do that. So he said this, We want to make it clear at this point that Stellar Blade will not require gamers to spend any additional money beyond what they paid for the package. The nice. only exception to this is if we create collaborative costumes with third-party IPs. Those may be sold for a fee. Also, there that is no sense. new Game Plus in the launch version, but that will be coming very soon. This decision is a complete reversal of another recent big release, Dragon Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, if you guys don't know about that, that was an absolute disaster with the amount of microtransactions oh, yeah. that came along with that game. I'm pretty and sure then you, didn't have you have to pay like... a $5 fee just to move your character. Now, Didn't you have to, like, buy your, uh... Didn't you have to, like, pay for the... For the patch or some I'm stupid shit like that. Or the but only a little. That's the crazy thing. I'm only exaggerating a little. But it's very clear that Stellar Blade is not going to be bogged down with microtransactions, which is something that I know a lot of gamers will definitely appreciate. But moving forward, with all this positive news about Stellar Blade, it probably also doesn't come as a surprise that the director of Stellar Blade is actually a bit concerned about the public perception of this well, game no shit. in the West. 
of course he's afraid. Like, because we, we've got journalists saying his game is, like, killing women. And we've got people arguing with them. Like, it's it's not a good... It, it, it is concerning. As a developer, I would be very worried. In an interview, they were asked this question. Related to this, some Western media outlets have expressed their discomfort with the portrayal of female characters in Stellar Blade. Are you aware of these issues? Where Kim would reply saying, I know that in the West, game characters have to reflect realistic appearances in many ways, and that many issues like gender and racial diversity are intertwined. Yeah. However, Stellar Blade is only a cultural and entertainment product. I hope you will keep an eye on this as a fun action game has just been released. So That's it, exactly. This is cultural and entertainment. It's not real. It is not a real thing. This is, this is, this is, it, this is not, this is not a, 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 a documentary video game. This is a fictional game. So basically what the director is saying is, please understand our game simply exists as something that is a fun action game for your entertainment. Yeah. It is very sad that someone, especially at a Korean studio like this, has to tell people in the West that their game is supposed to be for fun and not some political or societal statement on something. It's just a fun game. Yep, uh, most games are just a fun game. Mo most games are not like a political statement. It <laughs> That's really concerning that they have to worry about this and how it will be perceived Unless in you're the playing West. And a lot just of that cause. is thanks to game <laughs> journalists who are attacking this product and the character designs from Stellar Blade. But of course, as Mark Kern would point out here, while people are concerned about the Western journalists slamming this game, here are the pre-order lists, all the countries where you can pre-order Stellar Blade. So of course, if you stand with this company, its director and its product, go ahead and pre-order this game. Let's show it a lot of support because Stellar Blade is definitely going through the ringer with all these corrupt game journalists and wackadoos on Twitter I would like who to are know trying to attack this game simply for having an attractive female lead. I really would like to know if Stellar Blade is going to be playable by blind people. It's probably not, but I would like to know. But moving forward, Lunar here would report another finding, another game journalist lying about Gamergate and also the Sweet Baby Inc. situation. So Radio Canada, the French oh CBC, God. has put out a hit piece on Cabrutus. Now, if you don't remember, Cabrutus is the individual who started the Steam group Sweet Baby Inc. Detective. You can okay. see the very simple message for letting people know if a game is involved with this company. That is it. He made that curation list, and now he's been spending a lot of time making content, doing interviews. He's doing a really good job. However, how would this article frame Cabrutus and who he is and what his role is in all this stuff? Let me guess. Um, a straight white male who hates women and hates diversity and hates actual, quote, actual video games with actual diverse characters meanwhile i bet you he's played pretty much everything no they would not call him the guy who created the curation group on steam this is what they would call him the founder of sweet baby inc detected movement and leader of the cyber harassment campaign oh uh, yes ironic the cyber harassment the same campaign, article like huh? every other article about the Sweet Baby Inc. situation fails to mention the initial harassment campaign started by a Sweet Baby Inc. employee. Yeah, that's that would have been the cyber harassment, not him. Sweet Baby was the cyber harassers. He just made a list of games they had involved. Started in. all of these events. All the dominoes fell with that situation, and they failed to mention that in this article, and instead labeled Cabrutus as the leader of the cyber wow. harassment campaign for simply listing off games that Sweet Baby Inc. has publicly listed <laughs> on their own website. Yes, he's the Absolutely one who started insane. it Journalism all. at its sure. finest, ladies and gentlemen. 
But moving on, let's go back to Mark Kern. So Mark Kern has been very involved in this ongoing Gamergate situation, covering a lot of the related information. And he's had a lot of uh, back and forths, a lot of jabs exchanged between himself and Alyssa Mercante. Mercanti, oh, the Kotaku merchant. I, I don't know. Nobody knows how to say the, her last name. But basically, he would make this joke on April Fool's Day saying that everyone is invited to their wedding. You know, love conquers all, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. That's great. But of course, based on the back and forth arguments between these two, I love this, this is a joke. It's an April I Fool's joke. I love this. But there was one person who didn't find this very funny, Melissa. and that was, of course, Alyssa, Alyssa who encouraged not Melissa, her Alyssa. followers to report this tweet for, I, I guess, harassing her. Oh, well, fuck that's some pretty off. Meanie Hut Jr. levels of harassment and tolerance for this kind of stuff if you're trying to make people report this tweet of all things meanwhile she has spent many times attacking mark making fun of his physical appearance making fun of his age and other things but this was too far i mean come on let's let's be real it's just because you don't like him and you want to see his tweets get taken down well also on top of that mark kern would point out that there was community notes suggested for his tweet people were oh, trying to add a label on seriously this tweet, including this one right here Whilst an April Fool's Day joke, Kern is engaging in a continued harassment campaign oh against my God. Mercante, which under U.S. law is defined as repeated or continuing uninvited contact, creating alarm, annoyance, or emotional distress. Now, if What the fuck do you think she's doing with all of her tweets towards him? Holy crap! That is... The hypocrisy! Oh my God! He made he made one joke, and she's like, "He's harassing me." Meanwhile, she's like, all the tweets she's levied now, course, against him. This Holy note shit. wouldn't make it because the community note system on Twitter is actually a pretty strong one and tends community to work out pretty well in the, uh, the the court of public opinion. Crazy notes like this tend to not make it, and there was other ones suggesting that this wasn't harassment at all. But anyways, that note would get knocked down, and of course, his tweet would not get reported or in any way harmed by these false reports. But moving forward, let's take a moment to look at something else that happened that affected Mark. So he reported that there was a tsunami, an earthquake and a related tsunami that hit his hometown in Taiwan. Oh, shit. That's scary. That's... That's... that's earthquakes and tsunamis they're no joke and let me guess we're gonna have some horrible people saying he should have been taken so of course right? he would take a break from talking about video game situations and drama to focus on this tragedy and yeah. to make sure that his family and friends from his hometown are okay that seems like a very reasonable thing to do However, yeah. the absolute psychopaths that are supporting these game journalists would use this as an opportunity to attack Mark Kern for being concerned about the lives of his friends and family affected by this earthquake and tsunami. Here's some of the replies. This user saying, hey, Grums, I heard your family is living with SpongeBob now. Holy shit. Holy shit. What is wrong with these people? And and how can they say shit like this and not see it as the very thing that they're accusing people of doing? Like, are these people that, like, how, how can these people have half of the brain capacity? Like, it, it feels like literally half of their brain is just, sh like, shut off. And only the parts that serve themselves and like voluntary involuntary functions work it it's literally like these new generation of people do not have the emotional centers of their brain functioning and like the frontal cortex of their brain functioning where the the centers that determine reasoning and and higher function and don't say that out loud are like it, it's literally like this part of their brain 
just doesn't work. I, like, I have had some people in my life that I have wanted to say some horrific shit to. And I have said some horrific shit to them. But even, there have been even some things that I have thought of to say and gone, no, that's too far. Just don't say that part, right? These people, they don't have that. They don't have that part in their brain. They're just like, yeah, go ahead, say it. This one's saying engagement farming his family's possible deaths. You made a seven post about it back to back telling, uh, talking about taking a break, just letting you know it's karma. The KKK actually killed people. Holy shit. It's karma for report karma reporting on the overreaction to a video game model is and having an earthquake and tsunami affect your family is karma for pointing out that people are overreacting about a video game character. Alrighty then. What is this guy talking about? Then this one saying, who lives in a swell at the bottom of the sea? Grums his whole family. And this guy says, your entire timeline is quote tweeting this dude. He really got into your feels, didn't he? Where they said, I was hoping pussy boy would take the bait, but I guess he's too busy now with renting scuba gear. What is the matter with these people? This is what I'm talking about. There is no, like, there's no filter with these people. And it's not just online either. Like, I'm seeing it in the real world where people who are like 25 and under they just don't give a fuck. They will just do and say whatever the fuck they want. They do not care. There is no cause and effect engagement in their brain. There's no empathy thinking. There's nothing. It's just, I'm going to do and say. And I don't care. That, that is insane. How can you say, how can yes, people say this shit? Yes, the normal people, ladies and gentlemen, celebrating the potential harm caused to his family because they don't like his takes about video games. Yeah. Yes, the normal people. But moving forward, we've seen a lot of other tweets like this uh, trying to give their opinion on this entire situation involving Stellar Blade, saying anyone else starting to feel awkward about liking Stellar Blade? The public discourse and perception is becoming a bit weird. A bit weird. A bit weird. That's that's a that's an understatement. But I almost like this is why I want it to be accessible cuz I want to play it. Like with all of the the crazy talk around it, I want to play it. Yes. Uh I will tell you this, you should never feel awkward for enjoying a piece of media in particular a video game because of public perception about it and in this case people going absolutely rabid over the character designs and the fact that this game is a clash between what we're expecting with video game releases in the west currently and i don't like how people think it's becoming weird to like this don't allow it's not game journalists or anyone else out there to change your perception like of what you should be able to enjoy the people being psychotic about the situation should not control the narrative no. and i think it's absolutely crazy that people are afraid to say they like this game because of x y or z this is why these people continue to be as strong as they are because we let ourselves get afraid of what people will think and that's why these insane rabid idiots still have power because there is there are still people out there that are afraid of of public opinion and so they're like oh i don't know if i should say i like this game or even play this game now because of what people will like of what people will say 
at the end of the day, go enjoy the game. And I, I'm telling you, millions of people will yep. without having any thought of Twitter in their minds as they purchase Stellar Blade. I expect the sales of Stellar Blade to be very, very strong and it to be a very well-received game. I mean, the demo itself is doing really, really well and has been praised across the board by people who want to look beyond just their own insecurity about the character designs and how it makes them feel. The people who actually play the game are saying the gameplay is really solid and enjoyable. So I expect the game to do really well. And again, don't let anyone I wonder if, affect no, the demo whether or not you're going to enjoy this game or settings. be able to say that you enjoy this game. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed another round of Gamergate related drama. As always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comments section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I this is this is just getting insane. And the more I hear negative stuff about this game, the more I really wish I could play it. Um and I like I really wonder if there's going to be accessibility for it. Um but because they're not, you know, involved in any of the diversity and inclusion consulting, um there may not be any uh there may not be any what am i saying uh any accessibility in it which is a shame but we'll have to see we'll have to see what we get um in regards to accessibility if if there is any but i will be keeping my eyes peeled for it. Hello, Jordan. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to our cop video. Uh, before we talk about our, our main video for the day. So this is called when the predators become the prey. And this is from code blue cam. It dropped about uh, 17 hours ago. So it's pretty fresh. So let's see what this is about. I wonder if we're in Wisconsin still. In May 2023, police were called to an apartment building in response to a sexual assault complaint in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Fucking La Crosse, man. It's always La Crosse, Wisconsin. It's always La Crosse. Why? What is it in La Crosse? Based on both the victim's testimony and video footage, the woman was delivering meals at an apartment building when 37-year-old Bradley Quimbley initially passed by her, but then abruptly changed course and followed her into an elevator. Oh, he shit. proceeded to make comments about her appearance and suggested they date, despite never having met her before. After Bradley suggested Creepy. they have intimate activities in the elevator, she immediately declined. He then grabbed her and engaged in sexual contact. Oh, God. Creepy bastard. Creepy, creepy bastard. Somebody, somebody find this guy and kick him in the balls. When the elevator doors opened, he blocked her exit. Oh, she explained shit. she had to deliver the meals. Eventually, she managed to escape, but was visibly distraught by the incident. Yeah. Several days later, dispatch received another call from the same apartment building reporting Bradley's return as he was seen kicking at the lobby door. Oh, shit. He doesn't even live there. That's even worse. I thought he was just some, like, creepy-ass resident in the building, but apparently he doesn't even live there. Upon locating him, the officer immediately recognized him and heard him repeatedly demanding for exclusive intimate services. However, oh. when facing injury and feeling lost, look no further than today's players. Their submit recovered load blue cam. What? What are you? Bradley, what are you doing? So he's, like, asking for... Sex. He's asking for sex. They're idiots. They don't have the awareness to actually shut the fuck up and get a life. That's that's the thing, Jordan. Like most of these these people now are so like emotionally stunted. They they just act out however they want, and they don't give a fuck about the people around them. It's so weird.
Bradley, what? What are you? Bradley, what are you doing? Okay, he is yelling for for sex out there. Ninety-four. He's extremely escalated outside Stoffel Court now. Are uh, is he mentally ill? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, this is weird. He's just walking around shouting. Yeah, get your handcuffs out. Bradley, can I talk to you? Well, I don't want to do that, but I'd like to talk to you. Oh, all right then. He needs his dick sucked right now. He, uh, all right then. He's one of those people that when he gets uh, randy, he gets angry until he gets satisfied. All right then. Well, I can see why you're alone, sir. Bradley. Man, get the f with me, fuck. Beat your mother what, what are you doing? What are you doing, Bradley? Bradley. You don't come by me, you dumb fucking come by me, you dumb. You ain't gonna do come by me. All right then. Now we're getting racist. Okay. We're getting racist and we're getting um rapey. That's an interesting um, combination. I swear to God, I'm gonna beat someone. This my world, y'all world. This bad world, you dumb. Come, come suck my. Ninety-four years out in traffic now. Bradley, car. stay away from that car. Yeah, car suck my stay away from that car, Bradley. You come suck my. Come oh. suck my stay away from the car. What's up? Get on the ground. Oh now. my Get God! Now he's going to a chick. Stay away from that car, Bradley. You come suck my. He's. Going up to a car saying, come suck my dick. Wow. Stay away from the car. What's up? Get on the ground. Man, you get on the ground. Get on the ground. Bradley, get on the ground now. Fucking tase him. Stop telling him to get, he's obviously not going to get on the ground. Tase him. Taser, taser. Taser, get effective. Taser, ineffective. Pursuit. We're headed eastbound on Cass Street from 7th. Taser was ineffective. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Another taser was deployed and seemed to be effective, immediately dropping his ass. <laughs> yeah, Code Blue Cam has Code Blue Cam has started swearing now. He he doesn't give a shit anymore. Cause these people are just absolutely insane. They they don't give a fuck, so we shouldn't either. Oh, here comes ground. more. Taser, taser, taser. If you move, you're going to get tased again. 43 second taser deployment. 43 seconds. Holy shit. That's, that's a long time to deploy the taser. Come on, Brad, Knock it off, Brad. You're going to get tased again. Brad, knock what, what it off. Fourth, you will take medical. What you doing, man? What you knock it off. Injured at all? No. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They tased him again. Holy shit! He won't okay. stop. Okay. He just got tased again. Yep. Bradley, those probes are still on yet? We can tase you whenever we want if you're uh, resisting. Okay. So make sure you're cooperative with us. Bradley, listen to me. Are you injured? Get your feet up, Brad. You Thank you. Here? Bradley, would you like to sit on the curb? Can you talk to me, Bradley? Come here. What? Yeah, man. Let me sit up. Okay. Well, it's, I'm going to have you roll towards me, but you cannot be kicking yep, Don't be kicking. Or thrashing around, okay? They sound so, like... Why do cops have to sound so wimpy when they talk like that? We're just going to roll you over, okay? Are you okay? Like, they, they sound so... I don't know. Bradley, I know you're struggling with something today, but right now you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. You just gotta go over to the jail, okay? Are you injured? Talk to me, man. Are you injured? Do what you gonna do, man. Okay, are you gonna be Do what you gonna do. Do what you gonna do. We will. Are you gonna be cooperative with us? It's okay, bro. 
Gotcha, man. He's probably got several in him. He's got at least three. Two lakhs. I'm good, man. Okay. It was also discovered Bradley was out on five misdemeanor bonds and one felony bond. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. You're out on bond running around being sexually assaultive? That's just brilliant. That's just brilliant. Good job. Hey, we're just taking the probes I just got, out. Bro. I just grabbed the probe out, okay? We're taking the probes out, man. Man, come on, man. Why are you sticking me like that, man? What are I you just doing? pulled it out. We're pulling it out, bro. I just pulled it out. Can you sit back up? Yep. I'll warn you next time, okay? Come on, man. Stop going. Come well, on, man. You, you have, have more in you. Have more in you. We're helping you. We're trying to get them taken out. Man, just go ahead and just get rid of it. You want to do that? Just get rid of it. Stop playing with me. Come on, man. The blood of Jesus. I still love the Lord. The blood of Jesus all over. It don't matter. Oh, I still God. love Jesus. It don't matter. You got to pull out another car. The blood of Jesus. I ain't worried about it. The blood I, can't, of Jesus. I can't get yeah. access to it. It's too low on the switch. I ain't worried about it. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. It don't matter. It don't Would you part, stop the with the blood of Jesus nonsense? Repeating the blood of Jesus isn't going to do anything. The blood of Jesus. It don't matter. Y'all want to keep doing stuff to me? Don't worry about the blood of Jesus. Medical know about that. He's sitting on one of them right now, too. The blood of Jesus. Don't worry about it. The blood of Jesus. It don't matter. Yes, yes. The blood of Jesus. You can say those. The blood of Jesus. You can say four words over and over again. Good job. The blood of Jesus. DC, six counts of bail jumping. So we have medical on our way here, okay? Let me, you want to stand up here? Do you want to stand? Yeah, I want to stand. Okay. Just take this off. Go. Go take that, whatever you put in. Go take it out. Yep. Okay. Okay. There we go. We're just gonna check to see if you got any more. We're just checking Come to see. Come on, man. Come on. If you got any more in you? The blood of Jesus, man. No matter what y'all do, Jesus still good. Yep. Oh my God. No matter what you guys do, Jesus is still good. They're not doing anything bad. Why do they talk like this? Yes. He just let me know what y'all was doing. That's why I let y'all know what y'all doing. That's why he let me know. He's still good though. Y'all trying to torment me? He let me know. God's still good. I belong to Jesus still. It don't matter what y'all think. So do what you want to do to me. It don't matter. As long as I live, it don't matter. As long as I live with Jesus, I'm good. So do what you want to do. Don't matter. So living with don't Jesus matter, man. Don't matter. Is, is G living with Jesus is uh, asking people to suck your dick? Randomly? Oh, okay. I, mean with Jesus at the end of the day. I didn't know That's that. That's all that matters. I think, I'm thankful for that. It don't matter. Do what y'all gonna do. I don't wanna have with all these people like y'all doing. No, no, just bunch it up. Guess what? He up, too good to me. We're not rapping. The blood of Jesus. Man, the blood of Jesus. Man, blood of Jesus. Don't worry about it. I ain't got nothing, man. The blood of Jesus. It. I'll put them both God's still good. Y'all the one that's going to hell. Holy shit. Stop right talking. I ain't worried about it. I'm okay. I don't want to. I don't want to live in, and, and do what things y'all doing anyway. So do it. Do whatever y'all want to, Timmy. You're the one good. running around praise telling God, people to it? suck praise your dick, God, dude. Right? Praise the Lord Jesus. I ain't praise the Lord Jesus. Matthew six thirty three says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God That's and mine. all His righteousness, and all That's these fine. things will be added to you." Stop yelling. Stop Jesus is good. Y'all yeah. want to live in that same thing y'all doing? So guess what? They're like Bradley. Please shut up. Please shut up, Bradley. Nobody wants to hear this shit. Thank you, Jesus. Give praise to Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I search you. I know I worship you, God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, God. I thank you, God. You see it? I'm not going to do that. Uh, are we on meth today there, Bradley? Are we, um... Are, are we okay? Are, I think we're Careful, having a, a bit of an it's issue. Considered, considered a contaminated shark. The world or the things in the world. I got a Leatherman. I got a Leatherman. I'm going to go get my spot. I'll be right back with that Leatherman. I have one in my bag, too. God, I thank you for your word. Your word is living, God. Your word is living word, God. Your word is holy, God. Everything about They have to fucking good, shout God. over this guy because he won't shut God. up. I belong to you, God. I will never touch drugs, God. I will never do things that's dishonoring to my body. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. Glory, glory to God. Glory, glory to God. We need Chris Hansen on this guy. Yeah, he's... Do not love the world. Yeah, this is our third. First John 2.15 tells us, do not love the world. Second time you... He First forgives you. God loves you. He said, I wish that none shall perish. Hallelujah. Can I get a glory? Glory. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, don't give him, don't give him that. Just ignore him. Don't give him a glory. What the hell's the matter with you, cop? Ain't God a good God? Anyway, of all your praises, 
he died on Calvary for you. Let me dust you off a little bit. I ain't worried about dusting me off. The one on six. I got the Jesus no, on, on the six. inside. I ain't worried about what's on the outside. It's about the Holy Ghost that sits on the inside. It's about a God that sits on the inside. So the Holy Ghost that sits on the inside makes you assault women and, and, and ask people, people to suck In the name of Jesus. All right, cool. cool. I found him at the one on the other side of this one. What do you want me to? You try to put stuff in. That's okay. Because God's going to protect me. He's been protecting me since I was young. I was making contact with him. He pulled the door handle of a car. You guys are the ones that's out here having sex without condoms. I'm not doing that type of stuff. So God is going to protect me. Nobody's, uh, I'm not having sex without condoms. Yes, I want to wear condoms with the women that I rape. Yes, no yes, what? that's, that's what makes How me you good. God loves I'm you. a good man. And he forgives you. He doesn't, hey, he does not look at you like it's something that God knows you in your heart. He knows you. He said, I knew you right, in guys. Jeremiah chapter one, oh, verse, no in Jeremiah yeah. chapter one, okay. in Jeremiah yeah. chapter yeah. one, yeah. verse five, yeah. he says that I knew who you were yeah. when you were, when you were, he knew who you were. Bradley, do you want to go to the hospital at all? <laughs> yeah, you, they're like, should we take him for a psych evaluation? Man, he's good. He's good, man. He's worthy of the praises. Bradley, he's worthy of the praises. You need medical and the honor and the glory. He's worthy. God bless you, sister. Yeah, yeah. I will follow you. Okay. Yeah. I assume you just want me to do an incident report and a use of force support? We each need to do a use of force report. Yeah. Re response resistance, yeah. That's the second time that I've done that where I've confused the two cartridges. He got tased again when he was kicking Siggy. Yeah, I, I, I know you pulled the trigger twice on him, right? Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be... No, you're me. helpful. You're actually helpful. I just, you know, as a citizen, I was just... I, I heard him yelling and I was afraid he was, like, going to give you guys a hard time, so I just wanted to make sure that he was cooperating. Thank you. Good well, good Samaritan just trying to help out. See, not every but not every cop is like these cops were just trying to get this guy into the squad car. Good on the citizen for just kind of trying to help out, help them out, and you know, I'll, you can preach to me. That's fine. Let let them Bradley do their Quimbley job. You just preach at me. Resistive with us yelling, screaming, but he's been dead silent. The whole car ride, so I don't know. Yeah, we, we, had, we had to tase him. You've been tased? Yeah. You fell? Yeah. Yeah, you just get him checked out first. Okay, we had medical, we, he denied all medical, but you still want him to tase yeah. him? Okay. Yeah. Set him up? Yep. Okay. Wait. Yep, thanks. And then you hear him, what did he say? He said, Can I get a glory? Yeah, something like that. I was like, that. I was like, Glory. Yeah, glory. Glory be to God. I serve the Lord. It's like, it's funny how his demeanor changed as soon as he was actually in custody. Oh, he was, he was getting cancer therapy for a while. Do you want to go with the program? No. Out on the street, he was blocking traffic, asking everybody to suck his d and saying that. That's not very cool. No, it's not. But as soon as we had... No, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. He was, he's like, I live with the Holy Spirit inside me. It's like, really? The Holy Spirit tells you to, See, to ask people to suck praises, their, your shouting dick? Shouting out to God and like he's in the church. <laughs> So yeah, when he's in custody, he's a nice guy. Yeah. Bradley was slammed with felony counts of second degree sexual assault. Oh false damn. Imprisonment, bail jumping times two. Misdemeanor those counts aren't, of uh, fourth degree those sexual assault. Those are not many charges. Disorderly conduct times two. And resisting obstructing an officer. He was subsequently provided a $100 cash bond. That's after it? After two months, he was found guilty of only two charges after entering a plea of no contest. The remaining were dismissed but read in. in the That's end, crazy. His sentence was withheld, and he received four years of probation overlapping with another case. In the other case from wow. 2022, Bradley was found guilty of stalking and was given a 12-month jail sentence. Jesus Christ! Partially before being released on GPS Why are we giving him such a lenient sentence? Starting in July sentence. 2023. However, the following December, he was arrested once more for probation violation. Why are we not... Why a deeper look in... Why are we not, like, throwing him in jail? Come on. What the hell? He obviously isn't going to follow probation conditions. So why why are we bothering with more probation? That's stupid. That doesn't make any sense to me. I, I don't understand the justice system sometimes. It throws the book at first time offenders sometimes and then, you know, multiple habitual offenders. They're like, oh, probation, oh, probation. It's like, what? <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna do a be right back, get more coffee, and then we're going to jump into our feature presentation. Okay, hold up. Just gotta get to the mute button. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here we are, back for our main video. So on Friday, we discovered that one of the Red Pill community members, Fresh, got a, uh, a girl pregnant, and he tried to say that, that uh, it was, she was just a one night stand and, you know, she should just get rid of it, but Alba and Preach have interviewed her and Fresh and they uh, got got the whole story and it doesn't make Fresh look very good. So here we go. This is what we're going to end the stream on. We've got this is a half an hour video, so this is going to take a bit. So let's get into it. Today on episode two of Surviving Fresh and Fit, I want mm -hmm. to get to the bottom of this fiasco. If you uh, haven't seen part one, be sure to go check that out for more context. But I decided that I would interview the woman in question at the heart of this whole thing. She provided me a bunch of screenshots, uh, screen recordings, and a bunch oh, of Oh, shit. I think it answered He's got receipts. that would seem to be unanswered before. He's got receipts and everything. He's got, he, so this is, this is not, so let's, hopefully he doesn't softball Things it. like whether or not she's a sex worker. She isn't. What was she's the not a sex worker, events? okay. Did Walter know that she was not on birth control? Was he aware that she was trying to have a child and did they have discussions about it? Was he trying to be serious with her? What proof does she have that? All these things are gonna get answered over the course of this interview. Uh, but first thing that I have to correct from the previous thing is that she's never been a sex worker. Um, turns out she won some kind of beauty pageant and people just start uploading her page, her photos to some escorting sites, but oh. it was just scam sites. Um, Okay, so she okay, so she's not a sex worker. It was people stealing no. her shit. No. Whether or not you want to believe that is up to everyone at home. But to date, there's no actual proof that she doesn't need that kind of work. On a live stream today, uh, he said that you were never his girl. He said that? I made a statement on my vlog and on the show. 
multiple times. And I said, this is a matter of fact, guys, look, look it up if you want to. I said, if a girl's on camera with me, she is what? Not my girl. If a girl is on camera with me, she is not my girl. I don't mind. If I bring a girl on camera, she's not my girl. You never see my girl because I know what happens when you bring a girl on, on the internet. I learned from experience. That's all I want to say. So he's trying to say that if he has a relationship with somebody, he's not going to bring them on the show. But if he's not in a relationship with them, then he'll bring them on the show. That doesn't make any sense. Listen, this was a great trip. Happy to see my lovely Asian queen again. Uh, but, you know, as time passes, we must say farewells for a short period of time until mm -hmm. she comes back. So can't wait to see her back here in Miami. Uh, I brought her. <laughs> 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 no, no, I don't. Love you, babe. Love you. Yeah, I love you, babe. Oh. Yeah, that's totally, yeah, that's. That's not what you say to somebody who's not your girl. I'm sorry. Your lovely Asian queen? Really? Your lovely Asian queen and you love her? Oh, okay. So he's out here saying he don't claim her. He never claimed her. That's not his girl. But in private, he's saying, I love you. He's saying, you my girlfriend. He moved her in. And on top of that, he publicly on video saying he loved her. Does that sound like somebody who's being treated like a jump off? Nope. I'm just saying. Everyone tell you she's baby trapping him, all this other stuff. Is she baby trapping him or is he just trapping her? I'm asking the questions. Because the only deception I've seen so far is from him towards her. The only trap I've seen so far is him basically love bombing the shit out of her so he can as much as he want then we, he's done he just get rid of her well he that's how it's coming across it really is like he's like that video is so telling holy shit that that oh i love you babe i love you and kissing her and like that he's just making him like make, make him look like it is right now because clearly like he made it made that on public and on the conversation you saw it he calls me girlfriend right yeah. Are you gonna take someone to see your entire family if she's not your girlfriend? No. Travel to your home country? No. That's not reasonable. You no, yeah, like you don't if 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 she's not your girlfriend, why did you introduce her to your family? Why did you go to China to see like like that's that is not what you do with a with a just friend. Yeah, like casually meeting your mother, that's fine. The first time I met his mother I was like, okay. If you decide to do that, I don't mind. Why did you accept being in a non-monogamous relationship with Resh? That's a good question. That is a good question because like, why, why would you knowingly be in a non-monogamous relationship with somebody that you are, if you're not like that, if you're a monogamous person, why would you be in a non-monogamous relationship and also get pregnant? Yeah, uh, you know why? Because uh, we were in a long distance relationship. Because whether I agree or not, he's going to do that. And we weren't stable because we just got to know each other. And, you know, so I was thinking just to be there and move there, for, like to be with him, maybe, maybe like it would be different. Oh, so she was like, I, I didn't want him to be poly but if i was because i'm not there i i guess like i understood why he was sleeping with other girls but i thought maybe if i moved to miami then i would then maybe he wouldn't sleep around like i would be there and he would want to be with me you know but i don't want to like it comes to a conclusion in the beginning like oh i'm gonna stop this guy from doing everything just because he met me because in the early stage of the relationship i don't wanna um then i ask her well why do you not want to be intense about monogamy but you are rushing to have a kid that's a good question that's another good question why are you so like meh about monogamy but you're like i'm gonna stop taking my birth control within a month 
I asked some tough that's questions. A, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not softballing a, no, it. No, no, I ain't mad at you. No, I, I, I'm, I'm she's like, I'm about like, I don't want to be too intense and like rush like monogamy. So I'm accepting this, but, but like, rushing for but you want to have a baby with them. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand because um, I just felt like I'm not. I just feel like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married. Or what? If if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for like. A week? No! Oh my god! Oh my god, your poor baby! Your poor freaking baby! You- this is not- No. Do you know how long Driving Ape and I were together before we had our first kid? We were together for 10 years. We were together for 10 years before I got pregnant with our oldest. You don't need to- like- what? Holy shit, I could have a kid with somebody I've known for a week, she just said. Holy shit. Holy shit, your poor baby. Your baby's just gonna, you're gonna be at the mercy, uh, your baby's just gonna be at the mercy of your, like, feelings. What you, what's gonna happen when you, like, these are the kind of moms that get bored with their kids. And, and just, oh, my kid's not cute anymore. I'm bored. And then they'll just go on and have another baby because the babies are cute, right? The babies are cute and I get all this attention because I have a cute baby and I'm a new mom and like, but then all, then the kid grows up and the attention goes away and they're not cute anymore because they can talk and walk and make messes. So... It's a it's a fucking cycle. I've seen it. I've seen this shit. It's horrible. Oh, that poor child. It's not. It doesn't matter. It's the time. It doesn't matter. I yes, it does. For nine months. He really wanted to marry me. He's American, and I didn't want that. I ended that. When I'm when I met Walter, I just felt like, wow, there's so much chemistry. What? No, yeah, not, sexual I... chemistry. That doesn't mean you should have a baby with somebody. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to talk to me. Uh huh. No, I'm not the type of girl that can. I'm not the type of girl that's gonna have to. That can. You know, that I have to wait for a long time before I marry someone. Huh? Yeah. What type of girl is that? I'm yeah. Well, who, who jumps right into marriage other than? The ones that, you know, those women that have like five ex-husbands and they always get married within like three months of the relationship. Well, there's plenty of people who meet their husbands for the first time through arranged marriages or whatever. Yeah, man, yeah, weird. Uh, but I, I don't disagree. I'm just saying that's not that weird. abnormal in different parts weird. of the world. It still doesn't answer the question. It doesn't answer the question of why you want to rush this baby, but you don't want you like you don't want to rush the monogamous relationship. Yeah. Is it doesn't answer anything. That doesn't make sense. And and honestly, preach didn't push. As, it doesn't. From what as a matter I of see fact, here. it made it weirder. So I'm still questioning. Like, it doesn't absolve the 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 the. the it doesn't absolve of, or, or or take out of the equation the baby trapping thing situation because of that answer. That answer was that great. answer. But that's not baby trapping. That's just what she's saying is. There's some people out here who are just very, like, feels-oriented. Yeah, and they shouldn't be having kids. I'm sorry. Because those those people are genuinely... They are more likely to act completely out of the out of the pale when their kid does kid things. Because they're so feels-oriented, they don't fucking have the thought to be like, okay, this is a child that I'm teaching how to be an adult. They're just like, they did me wrong! They hurt me! Me, me, me! Meaning, oh, I loved her. Well, how do you know? It's been a week. I just feel it. Like, some people are just like that. You know what I'm saying? They're very intuitive. Everything is just... Man, you know what we call them? What? Stupid. Mm -hmm. That's not very smart. That's not... That, that... I agree it's not smart. It's, it's it, like... Ha maybe, having kids maybe, with somebody you met a week ago maybe what if he claimed he never wanted a baby would that be true she didn't want okay if he say so if he really didn't want a baby after so many times i asked him in person 
do not come in me. He does that every fucking day. Like, then why are you not on birth control? You've told him not to come in you if he doesn't want a baby. Well, why are you not on birth control if he doesn't want a baby? Why? I hate women like this. Why is it always the man's responsibility just to not come in you? Why is it also not your responsibility to take that pill every night? Like, if you don't want to carry a baby for nine months, that's cool. Do something about it. There are way more birth control options for women than men, so why not avail yourself of them? Stop being like, oh, well, it's his job not to come in me. You can just pull out. You know pre-cum can get you pregnant, right? You, oh my god. Why is this bitch so stupid? I, I don't feel sorry. I, feel, I honestly, this situation is making me angry because Fresh obviously isn't a man. He's just a boy with the ability to fuck. And this chick is not mother material at all. She's just like, oh yeah, I could create a human life with somebody I just met a week ago. Uh -huh. Oh, it's his job not to come in me. Uh -huh. Fucking Jesus. The baby, would that be true? She didn't want? Okay. If he say so, if he really didn't want the baby, after so many times I asked him in person, do not come in me. He does that every fucking day. Like, he can just pull out. <laughs> Easy as that. Because he was always like, oh, I'm doing this with my girlfriend. So really serious conversation, like planning a future and ask me, what I want to do. Oh, I want to play in a future with you. Uh, why don't we get a house instead of renting another apartment? That doesn't make sense, wasting money, blah, blah, blah. And he said, um, what, what if you get pregnant? Isn't that better for a bigger house? Okay. But things are still not stable with you guys. You guys are brand new. So again, why are you not protecting yourself? Why are you not taking birth control pills? Why is it always all on fresh to just pull out? Is that baby trapping? They're going to end up together. Is that baby trapping? I'm asking. Is that baby trapping? You out here talking about let's get a house together because what if you get pregnant? Is that baby trapping, my brother? I'm just asking. Just asking the question. It's not. It's not. Guys. It's not baby trapping, but they're both absolute retards. I'm sorry, I don't care if I can't say that on Twitch. They're 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 both morons. They are both absolutely stupid. This is like this is like listening to 12-year-olds in in 30-something-year-old bodies. Just like legit. It these people these, these people, these two People have the brain capacity of a high schooler. I, I I don't understand how she didn't think this shit wasn't going to happen. If they were that unstable in their relationship. Where she's like, don't come in me if you don't want me to get pregnant. But she's not taking birth control. I understand like, what you're saying when you're saying it's not. But some of these answers is... Oh. I think they're irresponsible, but that doesn't mean baby yeah. trapping. No, I wouldn't. That, those exactly. are separate things. Exactly. Not pregnant, no baby. She tells that to Walter. He says, oh, you did a pregnancy test? She says, yeah, my period just came and five days ahead. So you play a good game. Okay, what uh game? Uh, um, This game on bed. I'm confused. Don't worry, we all are. I don't think anybody understood what she meant. And she goes, just kidding. I meant you are safe. Just letting you know. Next time you won't be so lucky. What is that saying? I'm not having a baby. I'm having your baby. Yeah. Next time, you're not going to be so lucky. And what does he write? Oh, I wasn't worried. I didn't want to pull out anyway. But that's good that you got your period. So he, oh, so you're being a dick. She's not too happy about it. I didn't reject you because I don't mind being pregnant with your baby. She's being direct. Yeah. She's telling him. And all he says is, no, I'm saying I like you a lot. And once you're happy, I'm happy. 
So can you understand why she's confused? He but he not he refusing to pull out, busting inside them sugar walls. And now Yeah, this is that's what I'm saying. This is why I'm saying they are both absolute idiots. She's like, she needed to either break up with him or like put some severe boundaries on that relationship. And he just is a man child. Now all of a sudden he's been trapped. He don't want to be a dad. You have decided that you were not going to pull out of her vagina. So you're not going to pull out of fatherhood. <laughs> Yeah, baby. You are not going to pull out a fatherhood. You're going to take care of the baby. He has no choice. He's going to pay. If I say, bro, I'm going to punch you in the face. Yo, I missed last time, but this time I'm going to punch you in your face. <laughs> and then I'll punch you in your face. No, no, wait, 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 wait. What is that? Hold up. Is that a sucker punch? No. Not a sucker punch. No, it's not. Especially if you tell me you're gonna punch me in my face and I tell you, whatever makes you happy. Yeah. And I look at you like, whatever makes, if you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Bro. And I get dicked in the mouth, that's not a sucker punch. Bo no, it's not. It's, no. No, no, you don't get to be like, I'm happy when you're happy and I don't wanna pull out, I love you. Ah, you trapped me. Boys, you were not sucker punched. Take some accountability. Hold that out. Did you always tell him that you would not get an abortion? Oh, I always, I always told him. He knows I'm not getting any abortion. And plus, he didn't care at all. He was like, he's, he was kind of like just admitted that if he he's going to make make me pregnant, he's just going to like raise a baby with me. And he, 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 he didn't like say that, but all the, this, this his action proves that doesn't mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child why don't you no. get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you yeah that's true it's like doesn't mind having a baby is not the same as i want to have your baby that's that those are two vastly different things if he's like yeah if you get pregnant i'm i'm gonna be there it's not the same as i want to get you pregnant that's not the same no because uh I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me. Oh, pretty then, sure. Okay. Okay, but at least at least he's not stupid that if he does this to me, I'm going to get pregnant. Kate, you got pregnant because you were pretty sure he was serious about you and you were pretty sure he wasn't stupid. That's what a wonderful bar. What what a lovely bar for child for for conception of a child. I'm pretty sure he's serious about me, and I'm pretty sure he's not as not stupid enough not to know what happens when you have sex with somebody. That's that's the only two criteria this woman requires to have a child. Okay. I think it's just uh, misunderstood. Maybe he was just being in. in irresponsible but for me he's serious yeah dude you yeah, you because... you can't have that kind of a misunderstanding when you're having a kid and it's on both of you to make sure this oh my god this woman is stupid <laughs> i've never met someone like that nobody would treat me like that like this is so evil i've never met anyone. no this is not evil this is stupid you're both stupid there is nothing evil here there is literally nothing evil here with this, this, this situation, lady. This was completely avoidable on both of your ends. It is not evil. It is not nefarious. It is, it is, he's a dick and you're an idiot. That's how this, that's what this is. Fresh is an idiot. Fresh is a dick who's a player. You are a stupid idiot who who thinks she can have a child with somebody after a week of getting to know them. That is, that is, that, those are the two people who got together and made a baby. A dick and an idiot. That's it. Or as George Carlin said, pumping out a unit. Yep. Anyone like that.
I'm not acting like a naive girl right here. Like I. Oh my like god! This, but nothing like this. You are literally the definition of a naive girl. You got with somebody who's non-monogamous. You thought moving across the world would make him monogamous. You you had a baby with him because you were quote pretty sure he was serious about you. But you're not naive. Okay. See, that didn't make much sense to me because in my head I'm like, so you want to be serious with somebody and you want to have a child with them, but you're not getting them to verbally say they also really want to have a child with them. Shouldn't that be something y'all established properly? Mm. Yes. And how, how long have they been to, together? Four or five months. They be busting inside her sugar walls every day. Never pulling out. Can you show paperwork for pregnancy tests and ultrasound? A lot of people are saying that stuff is photoshopped or whatever, or it's just like, so I just wanted to at least see if she had actual real paperwork. Uh, yeah, I have no problem sharing that. I actually posted. The, uh, okay, so let me explain about the ultrasound. The doctor told me it's still early, four weeks. So he can't, she can't see everything, but she can still see a little bit. Like Yeah, a baby looks like a... F at four weeks, baby looks like like the anything before twelve weeks. Baby looks like a peanut. You can't fix stupid. There's no pill to take, no class to attend. It's forever. Yep. I hold photo of it, but it's just like too. It's too early, you know. It's four weeks. How did you know Pug CEO was the man to bust inside your sugar walls? I have no idea. I just, I just feel like, I just feel like maybe everything happens. It, it was meant to be, you know. Oh my god! To meet god. him even, uh, out of uh, out of all the people in Miami, uh, every day I go out, I get so many, um, how to say, um, approach every day, uh, wherever. The night we met at the party, and there were other guys. They were like. Another guy, he's really, really into me. So Fresh was there as well. And oh my god. This sounds like, I'm telling you, these people are perpetually stuck in the ninth grade. I swear to god. I swear to god. We need a fucking asteroid. We need an asteroid. We, some, we need another form of life to take over. The humanity is done. We're, we're, these people, we're, these, these people are, are, are the future and we're fucked. I'm sorry. These, this is bullshit. And I just don't know, like somehow he just got me curious. Everybody, like out of everybody, like when they see me, they see me interesting. They would come talk to me or making some nonsense. But this guy, he was just like staring at me, not saying anything, like full of questioning on his face. That just caused my curiosity. So usually, um, so he stared you know, at you. Approach, so instead of talking to you, he just stared at you. And instead of feeling incredibly creeped out, you were like, "Oh, wow! I really like being stared at. This is really cool. I, you know, all these guys are just talking to me and like showing me that they have brain capacity and stuff, but." Fresh is just staring at me like a caveman. Ooh, I so like that. So I was like, okay, who's this guy? Wow. Then, okay, finally, he said hi to me. He's like, where are you from? And I said, guess if you're right, um, I will drink. If you're wrong, then you drink. So he was like, okay, this is interesting. And then he DM'd me. And then we went out. Uh, he kind of... He's romantic. He's good at planning dates. He's romantic. And he's kind of dominate. He was just good at everything, you know. He was He was dominant. He stared at me. Okay, so this chick's ideal guy is a Neanderthal who can't stay with like and and if you're going to be poly, that's fine, right? But don't don't like trick a, ne a monogamous person into being in a relationship with you right and 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 on the other side if you're a monogamous person and that's not and and polyamory is not something you're okay with don't get involved in a relationship with someone who's polyamorous and expect 
to fucking change them with your presence. And, like, I know, I'll just move in with him and have his baby. That'll make him monogamous. Yeah, no. That doesn't work. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can be Polly, don't be a slut. Exactly. All they demonstrate is the ability to have a medulla oblongata. That's basically it. They're they're basically a walking um a walking medulla oblongata. That's basically all they are. There's no higher functioning. There's nothing. He was saying things to me that made made me feel he it's real, you know. He was genuine and he made me feel special. Maybe no matter what other people were saying, like what he did to other girls or well, even I found out later, though, not when I just started. You know, what did you think hearing this? What did I think about what? But what, what did you think about the retarded bullshit that she just said? What you heard right now? I'm not sure. Because <clears throat> there's a whole narrative not, that this girl sure. was trying to baby trap him or she wasn't really into him. She's there for the money or whatever it is. But when I hear her speak, you even notice in her face, you see how she smiles when she thinks about him mm -hmm. and all that stuff like... I was actually surprised by this part because everyone's asking the same question. You know what people yeah. are asking? Yeah. Yo, why'd you yeah, why, get with you, fresh? Yeah, yeah. yeah you seen him, but you look at her, that's the face of somebody who's actually into a man. But she was impressed. So she was like, mm, yeah, you got game. Yeah. So so he, he got so that's just one thing that I want to establish. So apparently Fresh's game is be a caveman. Stare at her. And, uh, that's it. Man, if he was the only one that made you feel special, I hate to see what your family life is like. Well, her being a woman from China, probably not that great. China literally just got rid of the one child law, like... What was it? When did China actually get rid of the one child law? Very recently. And when the one child law was around, there they they wanted sons. They didn't want baby girls. That's why so many Chinese uh, um uh, adoptees that came out, came west were were girls because they didn't want female babies. literally high school junior prom that that's what this feels like this feels like this feels like listening to why the 14 year old girl got pregnant instead of why a 20 something got pregnant like this i the the only person i feel sorry for in this entire situation is that unborn child that is the only person I feel okay. sorry Okay, why are you exposing him publicly? Why? Why? Because obviously now I hate him. I hate him for not being a man, stand up for his child, and not taking the responsibilities. Well, if you had waited more than, oh, um, five minutes before having a baby with him, you would probably have found out that he was this type of person. So maybe having a baby with somebody that you just met is probably the stupid way to go. And maybe you should become that girl that waits a few years before getting married and having a kid with somebody instead of like creating life with somebody you just fucking met. After. You dumb bitch. He can, he can, he doesn't have to love me or he can break up with me. That's fine. For me, it's okay. It's, it's some guy I've seen for four months. I was, I was like, gonna get over with it. But I'm pregnant. This is serious for me. This well, of course it's serious! You made another life! You... Oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody tie her tubes while she's delivering, please. Holy shit. This is... This is... This is serious for you now? 
Why wasn't it serious for you before you created another life? Do you think, like, what, do these people not understand? Like, this is, this is somebody that you are now responsible for teaching how to be a human. Like, this, this is, this isn't just like, oops, I have a, I have a mole now. This is like, I now, for the rest of my life, am responsible for guiding another human being through the world. And, and helping them learn how to make good choices. And helping them learn how to recognize good people from bad people. And learn how to make good choices. Like, this is... Oh my god. This is just a, a bit of a side one, but Fresh and Fit fan accused Fresh of buying you a bracelet for 30 grand. On a podcast, he said he never paid a dime. Nobody has a receipt. Is this true? The Chinese escort, because I'm about to get Fresh on this one, too. So, Fresh, you gave an extremely expensive long <laughs> cleave bracelet, which are worth up to 30K, to a Chinese escort you just met. Now, Fresh, you claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. So many proof. But the escort says that you did. Look at her page in detail. What does she have under? Multiple gifts. From herself, by the way, or from her ex. Whatever she does with her money, bro, is up to her. So to put that on me, just because you want to say, oh, Fresh is a simp, wrong. So you didn't buy it? So can you no. Talk? You're just trying to say that he bought the bracelet. He didn't buy the yeah. bracelet. And No, it's not true. He, he, paid, he paid half and I paid half. Okay, so they bought a bracelet together for a $30,000 bracelet. What the fuck? I would, if, if somehow, somehow we managed to become capable of paying for $30,000 jewelry. I wouldn't want it. I would I would be so paranoid if I had something on me that cost that much money. I would never enjoy myself if I were out wearing a $30,000 bracelet. I would be like, "Holy shit. I can't I can't enjoy myself. I can't enjoy moving my arm anywhere. Am I going to break my $30,000 bracelet?" Like Shit, and I thought I was bad with my money, right? Like, like I said, how much around 30k? Uh, well, first, I, I still have the conversation. I told him, what's the issue if you tell everyone you bought me the bracelet? Like, why can't you tell everyone? Why can't you just speak the truth? Like, why are you like pretending it, like hiding it? But then he was like, don't say it. He just tell me to shut up. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal to them. Yes. It's a big deal to the fans and it's a big deal to them because yes. it really makes you look like I see him. Yep. Yeah, because he's a red pillar, right? So he can't be buying, he can't be doing romantic things for his woman. He has to be a big, strong, domineering guy who makes his woman do whatever he wants. And he can just come and go as he pleases and put his dick wherever he wants to. He shouldn't be buying gifts. That's what simps do. Buying, doing nice things for your woman is what a simp does. And red pillars don't do that. They don't buy gifts for their women. Their women do things for them. I wouldn't give a shit. The gift they give, give their women is existing and providing a house. Fucking red pill nonsense. Check my text messages. Oh, okay. I just watched my favorite stripper buy my favorite G DJ a $30,000 camera. Oh god. Give things to people, you give things to people that you appreciate. 15 grand? Wait a minute. <laughs> Some of you just met? But these guys always want to claim they don't pay for nothing, they don't oh. do none of this stuff. Anybody they don't have. They don't use their money to get but you realize they all do it. They all doing it. You, they're, they're paying for random girls' apartments. They're all doing this kind of stuff. So that's the thing. Why are they doing that? These red pillars are always like, you should never do nice things for a woman because a woman wants a strong man. And then they're like buying all this shit for their side pieces. Why is he lying? Not because it's a big deal. 
but it's like preach said it's a big deal to the fans and now you have to double down triple down on the lie and it's almost insulting because your fans are being like yo are you living up to your principle and you're like yes i am you guys are lying and saying i'm not when you just ask the girl it's like oh no he's lying about it so the only reason i brought this up is because fresh can't be trusted about what he says on this topic because he's already proven time and time again he's gonna lie to protect his reputation do you think that all this is good for your future baby that's another good fucking question. Yeah. It's not. That's why I... In the beginning... It's not good for the baby, actually. Actually? Um... It's not good for the baby, actually. No shit! This baby shouldn't even exist because you guys had no business making a baby together. There was no, like... You you guys knew nothing about each other. None. Oh, this is this. I feel so bad for this kid. That's why I'm just. I just want to tell the truth, cause I just want to tell I, the truth and air all my dirty laundry. And I was just kind of shocked because I just want to see where he got head at. And then I I try to like talk to him. I called him. I text him. She acts like nothing happened. Like not my business. Like, woman, not my business. Deal with, deal with it. We're not together. Like, don't call me. Don't text me. Things like that. That's that was his behavior. I have a thirty-seven minutes conversation between me and him. What if you think we don't keep the baby because we're not together anymore? Things happen, and I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. Holy that would be shit. fine. I'll be okay. But he, the, he did completely the other, the other way around. That just, that just made me so sad. That just made me so sad. How can you, how can you, uh, you, you, you said you love me, like, yeah, you, uh, and, and guess what? There are some men that will say they love you just so they can fuck you. Okay. That's why you don't have kids with them within the first six months. That's why you don't move from your home country and leave your job back in your home country in the first six months of a relationship and hope that you're gonna change his entire behavior pattern. That's, I'm sorry you're sad, but this whole thing is your fault. It's both of your faults. For you to just sit there and be like, well, he should have pulled out. And, and like acting like it's all his fault that you're pregnant and alone is fucking disgusting. Hey, Spittle. This is, I hate women like this. Literally two weeks ago and wanted to play a future with me. And now you, you're acting like this with me. Uh, when did you tell him you're pregnant? Uh, on the 30th. Yeah, cause yeah, I called him immediately um when when i exposed him when i when i start to decide to expose him right there i'd asked her when did you call the lawyer mm. so she she uh, so essentially what happened was she called him on the 30th of march being like hey wait 30th of march am i thinking the right date what are, yeah. we, what are we right now march or april or april okay i'm oh, sorry so we called her on 30th of march telling him we should bring it and I think on April 4th, that's when she started exposing him. So yeah, on April she, 4th. denied and everything. Is yeah, because yeah. when she contacted him, she's just like, bro, I don't know you. Get the fuck away from me. Like, no, that's your problem. Go deal with it. Yeah. And so she's like, yo, you got me pregnant. You just want to disappear on me? So when she exposed her, she's like, I'm calling a lawyer. I'm going to figure this whole shit out. And so that's the timeline of how things went down. It's two plus two. Four. Two plus two is four. Yeah. Yeah. That's my, that's my thing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and then I asked her who decided that. Who decide that? That's, that's just logic. That's just uh, the math. That's just logic. That's just math. Yep. Without without this, the word doesn't function. You can't count on anything. Everybody knows that. Um, idiot. <laughs> that's great. Except she's just as much of an idiot as... I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really think that they need to be a bit harder on her. 
They are, th this, this, I, I hate to say it, this is a problem men have. When they see a woman who has gotten pregnant and she's alone and like they feel sorry for her. They, f they feel sorry for her. And I, they are, they're softballing her a little bit. Like I've asked a couple of really good questions earlier, but he's not pushing it further. He's not going like, why would you, why would you let yourself get into this? Why would you do any of this to yourself? Like I said in many posts, she made her bed and now she's got to sleep in it. I hope you enjoy your nap, honey, because the nightmares have just begun. Yup. And we, I needed to know the answer. You're okay. not good. Okay. You're... He's uh, probably undereducated. Uh, he, well, he doesn't have anything else to say on the podcast. Uh, but you let this dummy bust inside you. Why? <laughs> I mean, you can't talk shit about God it. God damn. He was coding your sugar walls. I'm just saying. Yeah. God damn, Abba. Well, he's not wrong. Why did you let this idiot get you pregnant? Yeah, but I didn't realize that before. Cause... Yeah, because you waited like only a five minutes before you let him get you pregnant. Because <laughs> I just thought he's funny. Then, then you're going to end up like with a dumb guess. baby. <laughs> Um, any regrets about how this whole thing has unfolded so far? Uh, yeah. First, for being so dumb, letting him come inside on me without marriage. How about without birth control? How about that? How about without birth control? You don't have um, to be married. And I don't, I don't regret exposing. I don't. Yeah. What's, who's Abba? I asked her if she's gonna have a boy. Does she know what she's gonna name him? Oh my god! I don't know. Don't ask me this question because I don't. I don't. I haven't decided yet. What about the? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna name my baby. Wait, I have to buy things for my baby. Wait, babies have babies. Babies have requirements. Oh no! Name Abba. <laughs> 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 well, I got so many DMs already that they want to step in and they want to be the stepfather. <laughs> already, niggas are stepping in trying to be the stepdaddy. Jesus I, Christ, I, I will say this. How about you be a single if, mom on your you own for a bit? You end up having legal troubles and they sue you and whatever. If you name that kid after me, I'll pay for all your legal troubles. That's a promise. So if you need a Come help on, financing a lawyer to fight off fresh and fit, Man, you mean if uh, if Walter Jr. over there got the name Abba, I'll pay all the bills. I'll sleep. I'll hey, listen. As far as I'm concerned, I think you deserve every dime. What's her name? We don't know her last name. Daisy. That's what we all call her. Okay. All Imagine right. she names him Abba Preach Daisy. <laughs> I'm paying them legal fees. I will I will double the video output on this channel to pay for little Abba Preach Daisy to get all that child support every dime. If that nigga's gonna have Walter's genetics, she deserves child support. Yeah, he gonna need every financial advantage to be able to make it a life. And he gonna have pub CEOs. Not genetics. wrong. Not wrong. Not wrong. You let somebody with the. You let somebody who has the concept of who decided two plus two equals four nut inside you without protection. Yeah, I'm your baby's it. fucked. Okay. That's a problem. Sorry. Thing. Just drop our names. Even if it's just middle names, I'll take that. I just want my legacy to live on. It. <laughs> I hope this kid gets a better life because this lady of the evening doesn't deserve the title of mother. Honestly, no. This 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 was so naive and so like. <laughs> the only thing you can hope for is that that um that clarity that comes with when the when the baby comes out and 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 it's real there's like a moment you have where it's like okay it's time to pull myself together if that doesn't happen this baby's fucked <laughs> yo don't lie that's gangster
If I said something, I'll pay every dime. I said something. Oh, to be clear, guys, I'm not joking. I will pay for the lawyer if that baby has my name in. You don't even know how much a lawyer fee can be. Bro, do you see how I live my life? You don't think I got money to spend? This will be one of the greatest hobbies I will ever undertake. I was looking straight at the camera and I didn't flinch. You better not. And I'll say this too. I'm going to also encourage her to make sure she share custody. So that every time little Abba preach Daisy go up to Walter, she goes, Papa, say my name. Dada. <laughs> oh. That's crazy. Hey, listen, you know what they say, right? Revenge is a dish best served with some child support. You're going to have <laughs> That's crazy. Great. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> they are so fucked. This child is so fucked. I don't... I don't even know. Uh, there's nothing else I can say. There is nothing else I can say other than this child is beyond fucked. I, I feel so bad for this child. I feel... I feel very angry towards the mom for not taking birth control, for not being, for not having any respect for herself. Like, this, the, this is just so messy in so high school and it's so pathetic. I, I hate it. I hate it. I, but I had to look at it. I had to look at it. All right, guys, I'm going to end this here because it's been uh, two hours and I'm going to go uh, look after the kidlets, but I'll be back tomorrow and the House of Commons is back in session this week. So the Canadian politics is going to start picking back up again. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for the coffee stream and I will be live tonight for the combat hour. I apologize for not being there last night. I was exhausted. I fell asleep at the end of my own bed last night. It was weird. Anyway, I'll, I'll be back tonight for the combat hour, so be sure to watch that. And I'll be back tomorrow with some can poly on the coffee stream. So thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.